In this set of tutorials, we're going to do the Cisco stateless address auto configuration in DHCP version 6 router lab. So we scroll down, click on launch lab to start the virtual environment. This is going to take a little while, so please be patient while it loads up your content. It needs to build the virtual environment, the routers, the switches and the host machines. So while that is loading, just be patient. Once it is loaded, you will notice on the right hand side the instructions for the lab. If you scroll down, you should see a diagram of a network topology. You click on the diagram to be able to zoom in and you'll see the layout for the lab. So in this case, we have a router, a switch and two hosts. At any point, you can go back to this diagram by clicking on the network topology. If you scroll down, it will tell you about how you can save your lab and come back up to seven days. So you click on the top right hand side on the Hamburg and click on save. Now we're going to start the lab by clicking on next. The first lab is going to be part one, configuring stateless address auto configuration. And we need to focus on router one. So we click on our virtual devices and from there we'll get a listing of all the devices for this lab. Click on router one to make that active in the left hand side. Depending on how long it has been since you've started this lab, the router may take a little while to boot up. So again, be patient while it finishes starting up and then we'll be ready to log in. To log in, on the right hand side in the green is the the password and the username. In this case, you can type that in, or if you go to the top left-hand side on the lightning bolt, you'll be able to get the system to type it in for you. Make sure you press enter after each time, so the command will be accepted. Now that we've logged in, we need to go back to the lab instructions by clicking on the lab instructions tab. What we're going to be doing is going into privilege exec mode by typing enable. Then we go into global configuration mode by typing configure terminal. Because we want to use IPv6, we must tell the router to use that. So we use the IPv6 unicast routing command to enable this feature. By default, it's disabled on Cisco devices. Once we've enabled that, we need to go through and configure the router interface to allow for the IPv6 prefix in the router advertisement messages. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing that. One is using the network discovery prefix command or assigning an IPv6 address to that interface. So we're going to go into the interface gigabit ethernet one. We're going to add a description. It's good practice to do this so you know what this interface is connecting to. So we type in description, link to S1. We also need to make sure that we type in the IP addresses. Now there's two options there. The option we're going to take is going to be the IP address set to the interface. Make sure you enable the interface with the no shutdown command as well. So to assign an IP address, we go IPv6 address then the IP address that you want to use. In this case, it's 2406 colon 6400 colon 0 colon 100 colon colon 1 slash 64. And we press enter. We also want to assign a loopback address. So we type in interface loopback 0. And we assign the IP address much like what we did with the gigabit ethernet one. In this case, the address that we want to assign is 2406 colon 6400 colon colon one slash 128. You need to remember that address because we'll be using that later on for pinging. We now need to exit back to configuration mode and then exit way back to the privilege exec mode. 
This is where we can use some show commands to view the IPv6 setup. So the first command is show IPv6 interface, and this is going to give us some information about the network discovery protocols and the multicast addresses that have been used by the interface. We now want to have a look at our routing for our IPv6, so we do show IPv6 route. And this will display the routing table for the IPv6. We can see here that we've got our loopback interface and our gigabit Ethernet 1 interface details. If we want to have a look at our neighbours that are connected, we use the show IPv6 neighbours command. At this point, we don't have any neighbours that are being displayed. So what we're going to do is set up the debug command for the network discovery. So while we go to our host machine, we'll enable that settings there. And last but not least, don't forget to write your configuration for the changes that you've just made. Now we're going to flip over to our virtual device, H1 host, and then go back to the lab instructions. In this environment, we're going to open up the terminal window and we're going to have a look at our network configuration just to see that our interface is up. And you can see that our interface is up, but if it's not already up, you can use the ifconfig command to set the interface down and then bring it back up. And we'll be using those commands throughout these tutorials. If you are going to use the ifconfig down and up commands, make sure you use the sudo command first. So in this example, we're using sudo ifconfig the interface name in this case is ENS32 down. You're required to type in your password and that will shut down that interface. To bring it back up, you arrow up, backspace over the last command and type the word up. Once you do that, you'll see that down the bottom right hand corner, the network goes off and starts a configuration. You can also use the graphical user interface and get the connection information there about what you are going to do. So this now shows that we've got IPv6 on this host machine. We can also check that on the router with the network discovery protocol debug information. So if we flip to virtual devices, router one, we will see that we have the debug information there. Another way that we can check or verify our connection is to go from the host machine and ping the loopback address on the router. So we're going to do that by changing back to our virtual device, H1, going to the terminal window, typing in P6, the loopback address of the router, which is 2406, colon, 6400, colon, colon, 1, dash C for count, and the number of times is 4. So that's going to ping the router's loopback address four times, and we've got a response there, so we know we have connectivity, which we'll use in the next labs. We go back to our router one, and we just make sure that we turn off the debug by using the undebug space or command. Thank you for listening.